Welcome to the Business Behind the Scene podcast with Francesca Moy, where we talk all about real business problems, real solutions, and getting actual results in business. Hello and welcome to episode number 49 of Business Behind the Scene. Today, we're talking about confusion to clarity in your business. Now, this is something that I love to talk about because I get that a lot. Clients come to me and they say, oh my goodness, Francesca, I am so confused. I'm confused about my business, about where I'm going, about where my business is heading. Uh, There's so many people that give you different advice. I don't know what to do. And confusion is a real thing. It just happens. And I love it because I have never chosen confusion. So confusion, it doesn't happen to us. We actually choose it. We choose to be confused. We just do, right? So one of the things that I love talking about with my clients is really asking them a question because I was Googling what confusion means. And confusion, the definition of confusion is a symptom that makes you feel as if you can't think clearly. You might feel disoriented, disoriented and have a hard time focusing or making decisions. Confusion is also referred to as disorientation. In extreme state, it's referred to as delirium. So I love, find it really fascinating when I look, look for the definition of what a word means because confusion is a symptom. And a symptom, a lot of the time, is something that we are creating in our body, in our life, in our mindset, in our very day to day. So I've got some questions that I ask my clients when they ask me, oh my God, Francesca, I'm so confused. I ask them a question like, okay, why do you choose to be confused? And they literally usually look at me like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Why do I choose? I don't choose it. It just happens. And unfortunately, I don't believe that things like this happen to us because we always have a choice. This is what I love about business. And a lot of, I, love, I love it because it's all in our mindset. We can choose to be if you want to be, we can choose to be confused. But is that going to serve you? If you're confused all the time, what is that going to bring into your business? What if you could choose a different emotion? What would be the opposite of confusion? I would actually love, I'm actually going to be now Googling what is the opposite opposite of confusion. And I'm going to do it literally as I'm speaking because it's fascinating how many people um, the opposite of confusion is certainty. I love it. So if the opposite, opposite of confusion is certainty, how many of us could just choose to be certain about something rather than confused? It's a choice, right? So listen, I have seen a lot of people confused and the really the fastest way to get someone out of confusion is to ask them the question, why do you choose to be confused? And they're going to go all defensive and protective and go, wait, I don't choose to be confused. It just happens. And I'm like, what if, you, what if it was a choice? If you were choosing not to be confused right now, what would you choose? And usually people would go into like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, I would do that. Okay, well then why don't you do it? Yeah, but I don't know if I should do that or that. I'm like, yeah, but you do know because you just answered. So when people choose to stay confused, there is a benefit to staying there. So what is the benefit to you if you're confused about something? So right now, think about something that you're confused about. You might be confused about what next course to do. You might be confused about what coach to choose. You might be confused about where to take your business to. You might be confused about if buying these things or that thing. You might be confused about what's the next step in your business. My confusion is all of that. So if you think about confusion, all of this confusion, what is the benefit? Let's take about the business, right? You're not sure what's the next step in your business. Why? Why are you choosing to stay confused? What is the benefit? The benefit of choosing confusion of not, I'm not sure what's the next step in my business is that I don't have to do anything because I'm confused. I've got an excuse now and I can just stay here. And I know that in your brain you go, but why would I choose that? Well, because it's self-sabotage. Because it's easier and it's safer to stay here rather than go there. Because when I stay here, I know I've got certainty. See how the opposite of confusion is certainty? Now that I know that if I stay here, I've got certainty of the situation. 
if I take, take a step, I don't know if I'm going to fail. So I'd rather stay here because it's more comfortable. And I know that sometimes it doesn't make sense, but like, but why would I stay here? But the thing is, the fear of the unknown is way greater than staying here. So the benefit of choosing confusion is that you don't have to take a step forward. You just stay in confusion for a little bit longer. The benefit is that people might help you and that way you feel loved. The benefit of confusion would be what? Think about it. What is happening when you're confused? What is the benefit? Because when we choose a feeling rather than another feeling, it's always because there is more pleasure into staying confused than going to certainty, right? Then the opposite. So that's why our brain chooses that because it's way better to stay here than get away from here. So what is the risk that you are taking by staying confused? What is the risk that you're taking by staying here? The risk is that you're not growing the business. The risk by staying confused is that you're not trying new things, so you might never get and get there. The risk by you staying confused is that you're always going to be confused. And confusion is part of not making decisions. I mean, we have to make millions of decisions every single day, and it's already exhausting as it is. If you're dragging a decision out, it's just going to cause more stress and anxiety, and it's going to add up to all the feelings that you already are having that you're not enjoying. So we need to make sure that we stop staying confused and we just choose what is the worst case scenario. What if you choose something? What's the worst case scenario that you're going to what? Maybe you're going to fail. So what? It's better failing, at least know that what doesn't work, than stay there and be confused. I can't stand confused. I just rather pick. And sometimes when I'm confused, I just pick blind. I just go, okay, I just say, I'm going to try this one. And, but then I'm committed and I'm going with it. Right? If I choose something, I'm going to go, okay, let's see, I'm going to try that one and I'll do my best to make that work. And I go with it. And then if it didn't work, I'm like, okay, I should run the other one. And I'm going to go the other, the other one. At least I've done something. Because by staying confused, confused is known. There's no movement in confusion, which means when there's no movement, there's no momentum, which means you're not going to take that step forward. You're not going to be able to, you know, have, be on a roll. You know, when you're on a roll and you go like, yeah, I just chose to take a step ahead. Even if it's the wrong step, at least I am moving. Now, the other thing that you want to stop doing, be careful because sometimes people on purpose choose the wrong thing so they can keep staying in confusion. <laughs> so be careful of your self-sabotage and just choose something that, you, you know, you believe that it's going to be the right thing. And if you don't know, what if you didn't know? Just make a decision right now. Ready, set, it, go. That's it. The first answer you got, that was it. So ask yourself, wait, how many times do I get confused? How many times do I feel confusion in my head? Like, for example, for me, I never feel confused in my business, ever. I just go boom, 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 this decision, let's do that, let's do this, let's do that, let's go. In my personal life, I used to feel very confused. When I had to lose a lot of weight, I was very confused. Why? Because staying confused about what, what diet to choose was way easier than having to pick a diet and then have to follow through and do it. Right? I remember being confused about what diet are, oh, but so many people tell me so many things. This is confusing and I will get frustrated about it. So that means that at least now I'm confused and frustrated and I don't have to take action. I can stay here. I'm confused. I'm frustrated. I don't have to take action. Boom, I'm winning. But that wasn't serving me because the risk of that is that I was going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and overweight and unhealthy every single year. But once I choose, once I make a decision, once I went, okay, let's see, I'm going to be gluten-free, lactose-free, avoid any sugar, and let's go. I made that decision, I stick to it, and that's how I lost 22 kilos in a year and kept it off, by the way. So this is where confusion wasn't serving me. So how, what other areas of your life you are choosing confusion and ask yourself, what are the benefits and what are the risks? So then when you know that, you're going to be able to go, wait, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> I don't want to stay confused because it's not serving me, so let's go. So you're going to be able, be able to make a decision. But also, you want to ask yourself the truth. What is the trigger to, what, 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 what is the thing that triggers confusion for you? So for me, is the fear, what used to be the fear of change, the fear of actually having to follow through with what I choose. So it was easier not to choose anything so I didn't have to do anything rather than choose something and then have to follow through on that. 
So that was my biggest fear. I was terrified. I was like, it's better. The trigger of confusion was the fear. When I really knew that, hey, if I choose that, then I have to follow through. And I didn't want to do that. So how do you stop confusion? You just choose it. Stop, stop confusion. It's easy. You just go, that's it. I'm done. Let's go. You just choose something. And I know that your brain will tell you, no, but I'm legit confused. <laughs> I know that your brain is going to go, no, no, no. But this is not just a story. I'm actually confused. I don't know which one is the best. But guess what? You're never going to know. Have you ever asked yourself, have you ever in the past made a decision that you were not sure which one it was, but you just followed your gut feeling and then boom, it happened. Even if you didn't know which one your gut feeling was telling you, but you choose one thing and it was the right thing, just go for it. Because what if there's no right decision anyway? And I talk about this in a podcast in the past. What if there's no right decision? What if all decisions are right? Or what if all decisions are not right? <laughs> At the end of the day, it's the same thing. But what if you just knew that confusion doesn't bring you to any result? The confusion is a state of stillness. And it doesn't get you closer to where you want to be. But if you take a step, even if it's the wrong step, it's the right step because it's going to get you closer and get you unstuck from being confused. So any step is the right step. So if you think of that, how much more success are you going to get? then stand still and choose confusion. Please listen. If you are confused right now, just pick one. Just do a list of all the things that you're confused about and then start to choose, okay, for that thing, I'm going to do A. For this thing, I'm going to do B. For this thing, I'm going to do C. Let's go. But you will see that when you see the answer on the wall, when you see the truth of what you actually know that you should do or you want to do, you'll be terrified because there's something telling you, I actually don't want to do that. I don't want to give up on that. I'm attached to the result. I'm attached to not going to the thing that I know that I should go with. This is what confusion is. Confusion is knowing, to me, confusion is knowing what you should do and choose not to want to do it. So you just prefer to just pretend to be confused. <laughs> and if you tell yourself the truth, I am pretty sure that you will agree with me. Confusion is pretending not knowing what to do, but you actually know. You deep down know. We all know. We know what needs to be done to be able to achieve that goal. You just don't want to do it. So it's easy to be confused and actually go and do it. So how do you actually stop confusion is by taking a step forward in any direction, anything. Just go. Pick one and go. And I am pretty sure that you already know what you should be doing. So some of you might ask, but, but sometimes confusion is a good thing. Sometimes confu confusion brings to the right decision. And I said, look, if you want to compare two things for five minutes, that's fine. But again, like I said before, if you want to drag a decision along, it's going to bring, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get way more complicated as you go through than just make a decision. That's it. This is what I'm going to choose. It's done. It's happening. Let's go. Confusion is not going to help your business. Confusion is not going to help your relationships. Confusion is, you know, is trying to not to make a decision so that you're not the bad guy. You know, that happens a lot in business when you want to hire someone or you want to fire someone, you just prefer to be confused. But I don't know what the right thing to do. No, you do know. You're just afraid of the consequences. Confusion is fear of the consequences. What if I know what to do and I do it and then I have to not talk to that person ever again? Or what if I know what to do and I do it and then it just doesn't work out? Confusion is something that we can change right now. You've got the key on how to get out of confusion, but your brain doesn't want to choose it because there's more work involved with that. But please, if you are in business, you got to learn how to make decisions fast. You got to learn how to make things happen. You got to learn how to get out of confusion. You're a leader. You're in business. You need to start to make decisions fast and change them slowly. This is something that I've learned in business, in hiring and firing. Just go. This person, this person, let's go. You can't just drag it along because it doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve others. It doesn't serve your team, your business, your, the growth, nothing at all. So confusion, move it on. 
Don't stay in confusion. Confusion, if you want clarity in your business, clarity is in your head. Clarity is already happening to you. It's right there. It's available to you. So if you're confused, I'm going to sum it up for you. Just do a list of all the things that you're confused about and all the options that you could choose and then pick one. Like, just like that. Just go for it. Pick one and start doing that one and be committed to that one. Don't go ahead with that one thinking, but maybe I should have kept doing the other one. No. You chose one, go with that one. Go full out, play full out, and you will see massive results with that. Well, my friends, I really hope that you understand that if to go from clarity, confusion to clarity in your business, you don't have anything else. You have, you have to do anything else but choose. Make a decision, go ahead and do it and stop sabotaging your success because you've got this. You know better than anybody else. You know another thing that people that are confused do? They go and ask thousands of people so that they get confused. <laughs> I know exactly what to do. I know my answer, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask 10 people what they think about so then I can get confused so that I don't have to make a decision because, oh, everybody tell me a different solution. I'm so confused. I used to do that when I wanted to lose weight. I used to ask way too many people. So then I was confused. So then I had too many options and then I was overwhelmed and I didn't have to do anything. I don't do that anymore. When I want to do something, I do it. I don't ask to people. I just go with it. So my friends, the answer is within you. You can get clarity in your business right now. The answers are all within you. You've got this. You're a leader and you do have the answer inside of you. My friends, enjoy the beautiful week and go and make decisions fast because you know how to do it. Have a great week. See you next week. If you enjoyed listening to this podcast, then you have to come check out the Entrepreneur's Abundance Mindset Mastermind. It's my monthly mastermind where you get to spend time with me, where we take all this material, we apply it, we study it, and so we can take your business to a whole new level. So just go to the Francesca Moy, the Meetup Queen Facebook business page, and then just send me a message and you'll be able to choose the option EAM Mastermind. I would love to have you join me there and I'll see you next week.